Hello everyone, before we start this video, a quick message from Energy of Rebirth. Hi everybody, my name is Alexander Janowski, I'm the volunteer who's helping to Charitable Foundation for Both Energy. I want to thank YouTube channel Sukumaimos and all of his viewers, so as uh, subreddit Ari Prane, for this pickup truck Nissan Navara and for the thermoscope uh, Pulsar Talion. Uh, and as we promised, we handed over this to 120th Brigade. We are very thankful, thank you, and Slava Ukraine. So thanks to everybody who donated. Now, an update on the drone attack of the Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol. Now, in my original video on it, I shared a small satellite image showing a ship docked to the harbour which I couldn't identify. This was roughly in the area where the explosion took place and is on screen now. The image by the way was taken yesterday. Well, that ship has now been identified as a Goring class tug, as shown here. This is the one attached to the Black Sea Fleet. It's called the Dimitri Gargan, a salvage tug from the 1980s. Another one of these tugs is the Kremenets, which used to be Ukrainian, but was captured by Russia in 2014. Now, in addition to confirmation of the ship at the impact zone, my other update here is a satellite image shared by M.T. Anderson. This image shows a wider section of the base. So docked in this area of the base we can see four Grisha 3 class patrol vessels. This is one of them on screen now, they're anti-submarine corvettes. There are five of these in the Black Sea fleet in total. There are also two Natya 1 class minesweepers, an example of which is shown here. Interestingly, one of these, the Ivan Golabets, was reportedly damaged during the first naval drone attack last year. There are four of these in service. Finally on the satellite image, we can see a Tarantul class corvette. Here's an image of one of these. Four of these are active, they're missile boats. Now the impact was geolocated to near the Goring class tug, but we have no confirmation if it hit the tug or if indeed the tug was still there when it was hit. It may have been moved between the satellite image and the strike on the base. But as the satellite image looks, it does look like if something was hit here, it was likely the Goring class tugboat. But again, we are going to have to wait for more information. But looking at the satellite image and all of the boats, given the fact they're all rust coloured, I suspect that if a Ukrainian drone doesn't get the crew, tetanus will. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.